Uh, look, I don't, I don't understand why this is such an argument, to be honest. I really don't. Um, it's not that close. I mean, you look at the three leading candidates and you say, okay, number one, teams start, they start talking about team victories. Jokic has been on the floor for more wins than either one of those two guys. And if you look statistically, he leads them across the board, all the analytic categories. He's number one, including defensive box score plus minus and defensive win shares. He's ahead of both of those guys. So throw that defensive argument that people have been trying to use out the window. Then he's ahead of both of them in rebounds, assists, steals, effective field goal percentage, true shooting percentage. Like they're ahead of him in block shots and scoring. That's basically it. You know, Embiid leads him in three-point percentage and uh, free throw percentage, but everything else goes to Jokic. I, I just don't really know how you make a good objective case for either one of the other two guys. Stan, I love it when you talk nerdy to me, man. Uh, I'm going to appreciate you <laughs> on the broadcast again tonight. See you soon, my friend. All right. Good to see you guys. All right, Stan. Good.